But rain for sure over in Gadsden. I can see here Highway 411. We do have some of the wet roads out there this morning too, greeting you over in Gadsden. So uh, by the mall here, just keep that in mind. Wet weather for you across Etowah County to start the day. But here in Jefferson County, from our BJCC camera looks dry here in Birmingham. We're up to near 80 degrees already this morning at 79. Dew point there at 70. So definitely some muggy weather to start the morning. Gadsden, Anderson, Asheville, Talladega all at 72, 73. Coleman, Jasper, Hamilton back to fade and Tuscaloosa about 75. Alapaster, good morning. You're coming in at 74 degrees now, so we do have some fairly mild weather as cool as 70 down in Clanton, and we'll see that small chance for rain this morning here, but it does increase to 60% this afternoon. Temperatures, depending on how much sunshine you see in your area, could get to 90, 91 degrees or so. I think the farther south you go, you have a less of a chance of rain and a greater chance of some sunshine, so we could get to 92 in Alex City, 91 Alabaster, Clanton, Tuscaloosa, Moundville, 93, but maybe 90 here in Birmingham. Upper 80s really for everybody else today with that uh, average high about 91 and you can see here basically from about Fayette through Birmingham to Talladega northward 60% chance for rain 40 to 50% to the south of that line today. So we do have some wet weather to speak of already this morning coming in from Mississippi. A couple showers now into Pickens County, Lamar County heading to Marion as well as into Winston and Coleman counties. That's the bulk of the rain right now headed through Gadsden this morning. Some light rain showers for you too. Over near Double Springs to Addison area to Upshaw heading to Eagle. Some showers coming on in. I think a brief little steadier rain shower coming on in. South Vimont back to the Coleman area heading to Good Hope and heading over toward Holly Pond, Hansville, Bangor. You can see we do have a little more steady rain coming this way going down 278. Not too far away there from uh, Aniana heading to your north. We do have some rainy weather. You're dry now, but there's some showers coming in just to your west. Sneed area back down to Gadsden, Rainbow City. We're talking about some wet weather all the way there to Piedmont too. So really the entire 278 corridor has quite a bit of rain this morning. And over the next hour, you can see the rain coming through Coleman heading more into Gadsden. Some showers near Fayette, maybe a couple popping up near Tuscaloosa as well here, but it looks like the morning commute will be dry here in Birmingham for the moment. That'll change later, a bit later today. A little disturbance kind of working its way through the area here in the deep south. That's going to allow us to deal with those showers and some thunderstorms popping up through the afternoon. Again, 60% chance today, tomorrow down a little bit Wednesday, but Thursday back up to 60% chance for rain as well. Now, future cast will show again some of the showers kind of redeveloping here from lunchtime heading through the afternoon. Scattered about the area, but do it definitely have to watch out for some rain and as we get to about 8, 9, 10 o'clock tonight, the weather looks pretty quiet, but watch tomorrow morning. You're going to see this little line of cloud cover at 6 a.m. Work its way toward Birmingham here as we get to about 1 o'clock. This is going to be a little outflow from storms to our northeast. That will spark off additional showers and storms tomorrow for the afternoon and evening hours. Some of these will produce some downpours, so we need to be aware of that. They'll gradually disappear as we head into about midnight heading into Wednesday. So temperatures may be around 90 depending on how much sunshine we see today and tomorrow. 93 on Wednesday, a little hotter with more sun and fewer storms. Back to the scattered storms on Thursday and your typical pop-up variety storms Friday through the weekend. All right, Dave, thank you. You know, it's hard to believe it, but in just a few days, kids will start heading back to the